Hello everyone, what's up? In this Lightroom tutorial, I want to show you how to add vibrant and intense autumn color tones to your images. Everything here will be done in Adobe Lightroom Classic, while I might use the Nick Collection plugin later to do some very final adjustments here. So without much more talking, let's start. You can see the base image is very bright and doesn't have much colors. I do want to change that and the first thing I'm doing here is to change the profile to Adobe Landscape which will immediately boost the saturation. Next up I do want to work on the brightness of the image. First off let's just drop the exposure. I am going to drop it quite a bit but that looks good. Still the sky is a little bit too bright for my taste so I can just drop the highlights and restore all the details in those clouds up there. So this is looking much much better but of course due to those adjustments it's getting a little too dark for my taste so to counter this problem I'm going to just boost the whites. Just like that. Now you can still see here in the foreground, especially in the shadows, it's kind of dark still. So let's also bring up the shadows here. Perfect. Looking at this program, we do have a much better exposure right now. So for now, let's work on the dreamy look, which I want to apply on this autumn shot as well. What I mean by dreamy is to just have a very soft light. And to do this, I'm going to drop the texture as well as the clarity. And this will just reduce the overall sharpness of the image and thus gives us a way softer look. And finally, of course I want this image to be vibrant, so let's boost the vibrance. Now thinking about it, I might want to change the white balance as well. Right now we do have way too strong of a blue color cast, especially in this lake and in the sky. So to change that, I could simply switch the white balance to cloudy, which as you can see, will make everything a lot warmer. All right, nice. Now after those base adjustments, let's apply a few local adjustments. You can see there are already two masks applied. Let's start with the sky where I just have added a linear gradient. So here, let's bring down the exposure first. Again, I'm going to drop it quite a bit and this will just further reveal more detail in the sky. And I'm going to further drop the blacks to make the darker parts even darker up there. Okay, awesome. Now to not lose too much highlights, I'm going to boost the whites. And thus I'm creating a nicely balanced sky. So we can further work on the soft look by bringing down the texture in here. But I do want to increase the clarity, which will make the clouds look a lot cooler. Also, I do think it's a bit too oversaturated up there, so let's reduce it. Perfect. Then there is this radial gradient just over the lake in the center. And that's because I just want to make this area a little brighter by bringing up the whites. Just like that. Perfect. Already looks so much better than before, but now let's continue doing some color grading. In the HSL panel, I just want to work on the saturation. This means I'm going to boost the orange tones since we want to have those strong autumn colors. At the same time, I'm going to drop the yellow tones just a bit so we don't get overwhelmed by them. And I'm also going to drop the green tones all the way because we don't really need them here. And let's see, maybe we can boost the blue tones a little bit. Just like that. Perfect. And of course, we are also going to apply some split toning. For this shot, there will be adjustments to the midtones and the highlights. For both of them, I'm going to apply a warm color tone. So let's see. This looks pretty good, but of course I want to drop the saturation again, just like that. Then let's switch over to the midtones, and again, let's go with a warm color tone, which will really bring out those autumn tones. Again, I'm going to drop the saturation. Maybe let's adjust the hue a bit more. 
All right, awesome. And finally, we can go into the calibration tab all the way down and just drop the blue primary hue, which will give us even more intense autumn tones. Just like that. And if you want, of course, you can boost the saturation some more here. Perfect. Now we do have a very cool looking autumn shot, but I'm not really satisfied with the dreamy look I wanted to apply. Usually I would use a little bit of Photoshop here, but since I want to do this by only using Lightroom, I am now going to use a plugin in here, which is called Nick Collection Plugin. So I'm just right clicking on the thumbnail, go to edit in and use Color Effects Pro 4. All right, right away we are starting with the Brilliant's Warm Filter and we can add a little bit of warmth maybe. Just a bit. And then let's add another filter. This time I'm using the classical soft focus, which you can see applies a very cool looking dreamy look. So let's go through the presets here. I am quite happy with the first soft focus method right there, but maybe we should reduce the strength a bit. I only want to have a very subtle effect right here. I don't want to overdo it. So this looks pretty cool. And then finally, I do want to check out the polarization effect. So I'm going to add another filter. Let's scroll down in the filter menu. And here we have the polarization. So let's turn up the strength. This works quite good on here. Maybe like this. All right, and now I'm just hitting the save button. Perfect, and here we have the finished autumn image. So I hope this Lightroom tutorial was helpful and interesting. If you have any questions left, feel free to ask me in the comments and thank you guys very much for watching this video.